Mitt Romney got out of the race at the end of last week, and the question is, uh, yes, we're talking 2016 presidential politics, who benefits from this? And the Des Moines Register has a poll out uh, that shows, at least in the short term, Scott Walker seems to be benefiting. Now, if you look at these numbers here, nobody's a front runner. This is a giant, big Republican field. Everybody's lumped together. Uh, but there is a bit at the moment of a Scott Walker boomlet. He's the Wisconsin governor. He was just out at a big Iowa event. He performed very well. The poll was taken days after that event, so perhaps no surprise Scott Walker bumps up way up from 4% when this poll was taken back in October. Listen to Scott Walker yesterday. Uh, he's on ABC, and he knows that Jeb Bush is probably the nominal frontrunner right now in the party. Scott Walker says the Republicans need to turn the page. That people want new, fresh leadership with big, bold ideas and the courage to act on it. And if we're going to take on a name from the past, which is likely to be former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, I think for the party we need a name from the future. If you're Scott Walker or anyone else, you want to peak a year from now, not today. Uh, but it's not bad. A little boomlet for Scott Walker right now. How does he take advantage of it? You know, Scott Walker seems to have carved out this really interesting middle that actually Joni Ernst in Iowa did. He, the establishment likes him. The, the conservative wing of the party seems to like him. He's not offensive to either. And because of that speech in Iowa, he is experiencing this boomlet. And donors who might not really want a Bush, a, another Bush presidency or aren't sure about Chris Christie are definitely taking a look at Scott Walker at this point. And yet you would have to say that the biggest instant winner of Romney getting out is Jeb, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think there were some, some donors uh, who were basically uh, hiding in a corner, uh, sort of keeping their phones turned off because they wanted to uh, avoid that, that tough decision between Romney or Bush. And I think that's an easier call for a lot of them now. So in, in the very short term, yes. In the broader term, it's still tough to tell. Walker is an interesting uh, figure. You know, in that same interview yesterday, John, he also sounded a, a Joe Namath-esque note, speaking of the Super Bowl, saying, saying don't bet against me, basically. Okay. Noting he had won three times there in that state in four years. So he, he is not lacking in confidence. And what's, what's interesting, don't forget about his history with, with Romney, because you know, he's making a play for some of the Romney donors now. But don't forget, Walker was very critical of Romney in 2012 in his campaign. Sharply critical, in mm -hmm. fact.